So let's take a look at how you might find one third of an inch here on a ruler. Uh, the first way, if I had to do this quite frequently, finding one third of an inch, because it's not quite that simple to figure it out on your ruler with really precision. If I needed to be precise, I would probably get a digital caliper like this here, and that would let you be really, really precise. But if you didn't have this and you needed to find one third on your ruler, the best way is gonna to be to approximate it. So we know that one half is 0 0.5, and we know that one fourth is 0 0.25. And if you don't know that, just divide one by four in your calculator. So we know that one third, it's gonna be between these two numbers, one half and one fourth, probably closer to one fourth. So let's get three eighths here, and let's figure out what that is as a decimal, because one third is 0 0.333, and the threes, they just keep repeating. So we know it's gonna be between these two, closer to one fourth, three eighths, three divided by eight, that gives us 0 0.375. So now we know since it's 0.33, that's less than 0.375. It's gonna be between 0.25 and 0.375. So between one fourth and three eighths. Let's convert five sixteenths, put it down here. Five divided by 16, that turns out to be 0 0.31. So it's going to be pretty close to 5 sixteenths on a ruler. It'd be between 5 sixteenths and 3 eighths. We can break these down here further into 30 seconds. If we count them up, we get 1, 2, 10, 11. So we have 11 30 seconds here. And 11 30 seconds, if we get that to a fraction, we'll end up with, this ends up being 0 0.34. Three, four. That's rounded just a little bit. And that's pretty close. So it might be a little bit less than 1130 seconds. That's probably the way I do it to approximate that. So we know it's about right here near 1130 seconds, a little bit less. You could split this into 60 fourths and keep going further, but you're always going to have an approximation. That's how I'd go about it. I'm going to go look for digital calipers online. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.